This is the finished look. You guys have asked me to do this look quite a lot, actually, like with the exception of the glitter. Like if you were to cut the glitter out, you guys kind of see this look in a lot of my videos and like I get so many requests, it's ridiculous. And I just haven't had a chance to really do it until now. Um, so yeah, this is like my go-to. Um, I usually, when I can't really figure out what to do, this is the neutral goldy JLo type eye that you guys have seen in a lot of my um, <clears throat> a lot of my videos where I'm wearing like a gold lid. Um, and then I just added a pop of glitter. And you guys also wanted a tutorial with the naked palette again. I'm just putting on my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over. Um, so I'm going to take Buck from the Naked Palette. And I'm just going to use this to define my crease. You guys see me do this all the time. Um, basically, I'm just going to do a simple smoky eye all over the lid. And then we're going to pop the glitter on the lower lash line. I'm going to take Half Baked with a flat shader brush. Half Baked is just a gold shade. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm just going to take my fluffy crease brush again and just kind of blend out the edges a little bit. Then I'm just going to take a 217 from MAC or like a flatter dome shape type crease brush. I'm going to take Dark Horse, which is that brown right there. I'm going to pop that on the outer V. Well, kind of, sort of, just to kind of define just to kind of define that part right there this is like one of my go-to like neutral eye looks and I'm just gonna blend it with this brush just because it is so simple like <laughs> it's so simple it's not even funny and a lot of people have seen me in this look and they're just like how did you do your eyes and I'm like girl it is so easy <laughs> If you want to make it darker, you totally can. Um, this is fairly dark enough for me, but what I like to do is I like to take um, a little bit of the darker black. I think it's called Creep. Yeah, this one is Creep. It's the dark black one with the same brush. And I just put it on the tip and I just kind of ball it into the corner right there just to kind of um, define it a little bit. So it goes from like a darker, like a darker black to a brown to a gold, if that makes any sense just to create a gradient effect. And I focus most of it on the outer corner and then just take a blending brush to just kind of soften it again, just like that, just to kind of make that corner just a little bit darker because it looks better when I put my lashes on. Um, but that's just what works for my eyes. You can totally do whatever you please, but most people, um, or most looks that I do personally, um, that's usually what I do to get it darker on the outer corners. I use a really, really dark brown or a really, or a fairly dark black and just fade it into whatever crease color I put in there and it kind of just creates that depth. And then I'm going to take a little detail brush like that and then I'm going to take Creep and just kind of smudge it just on the outside corner because remember we're going to put glitter everywhere else. And with the same brush, I'm going to take Half Baked. Um, you can use whatever kind of eyeshadow you want, like, underneath your glitter. The only reason why I suggest using one underneath the glitter is just to make it pop a little bit more. Like, if I were to do this and I wanted to do it with teal or blue to make it pop more, then that's the color that I would use underneath. Now, if you have a gold liner, you can use that. If you have, um, like, a more gold eyeshadow, totally up to you. Um, I'm just going to use this just for the sake of the tutorial with the Naked Palette. Um, I'm just going to take Half Baked again and then put that on my inner, on my inner, um, like from my inner corner to like the outer half. Just so that the glitter pops more. That's it for the eyeshadow um, with the exception of a highlight. Um, so I typically like to go in with a matte highlight but the Naked Palette doesn't really have one. Um, at least not the first one, unless you wanted to use, um, if you're a lot darker than me, if you're a woman of color, you could use Naked by all means. Um, I'm going to do um, Virgin. With this look, I actually typically use um, Vanilla. 
from MAC or like Brulee from Wet n Wild, but like I said, for the sake of the tutorial and for the sake of using the palette, this is totally, um, totally acceptable because it still looks just as nice. The only difference is that was like a vanilla, like vanilla is like a matte highlight and this one's a shimmer, but it's a very subtle shimmer, so still looks put together. I'm going to go ahead and apply my liner. I'm using Makeup Forever's Aqualine, Aqua Black. It says it's a cream shadow, but it's just basically a cream liner. Cream liner, cream eyeshadow, whatever. Same thing to me, if you ask me. Um, I'm just going to use a fine tip liner brush to do that. And then for my lashes, um, I'm using Red Cherry number 48. And that looks like this, if I can show it to you. They look like this. They're kind of like a cross between... Demi Wispies and Demi Pixies from Ardell, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and handle that, and I'll be right back. While my lashes are drying, we're going to work on the glitter, okay? I don't have anything I want to be face yet. That's like the last step for me. Um, so this is where we're at so far. So I'm going to use this um, eyelash base adhesive type thing. It's called a eyeshadow sealer base splash proof sealer by LA Splash or La Splash. However you want to say that. Um... And I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and just kind of dab it exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to take a little um, detail brush again with the glitter that I'm going to use to just kind of dab it on. Okay? That simple, super easy. And do a little bit at a time so you don't freak your eye out. Um, glitter can be really crazy on the eyes. People get teary-eyed and whatnot. Um, so work slowly if you have to. Um, if you wanted to do, I prefer glitter liners over loose glitter, but it's totally up to you. So this is what you would do if you had to use loose glitter. If you had a glitter liner, you could easily just apply it exactly right there and you're good to go. Um, I just really like this glitter. <laughs> I really adore like that it's not just gold. It has a lot of different other colored flecks in it. It's really pretty. Or you can use a brush. It's up to you. Um, I'm too lazy, I guess. <laughs> so, I don't really care, because this for me is like super easy peasy. And I just dab it exactly where it needs to go. And I guess it just works faster like that for me. Um, so, I'm going to do my foundation, and I'll be back for the rest of the piece. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm done. I add a little bit of J-Lo glow. You know me. Um, so I had to finish fixing my hair and I gotta go to work. So I'm not gonna film like an official outro or anything like that. But I did want to tell you what I'm wearing on my face because you guys always ask. Um, but I'll list it down below anyway if you guys don't want to watch the rest of the video. Um, so for my face I use my Long Content Miracle and I'm in Bisque 7 for those of you guys wondering. I don't know if you guys can even read that. It's hella tiny. <clears throat> um, so I use Bisque 7. It is like the perfect shade for me. Real talk. Um, and then um, for my under eye concealer, I just use my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Honey. I'm shade Honey. And then I just set everything with my Makeup Forever Dual Matte. And I'm shade 209. There's no number, so I'm just telling you. <laughs> um, and then I lightly bronze my face a little bit with Benefits Hoola. Pretty soon I won't be able to use this, so I'm using it while I can because I'm about to get hella dark and I won't be able to use this anymore. <clears throat> and then um, underneath my eyes, like always, I always set with my Prep and Prime. Um, well, this and I switch between this one and the Makeup Forever HD one because I've been loving both. And then for my blush, I just use Spring Sheen from MAC, which is this peachy, gold, corally type shade. <clears throat> and then I highlighted with Max um, by Candlelight MSF, which is giving me that little sheen right there, which I absolutely adore. Yes, yes, yes. And then for my lips, what I'm wearing on my lips is a uh, Max Subculture Lip Liner, together with um, NARS Honolulu Honey, which is a really pretty like peachy nude type shade. And on top, I have NARS Greek Holiday. Yep, 
Um, this palette is so old, I'm surprised you guys still want um, tutorials from it. But if you guys have any special requests or anything like that from this particular palette, I mean, I've done like maybe three tutorials max, including this one. So, and I, I always feature it in a lot of my tutorials anyway, because like Buck right here. Because Buck is like one of my go-to blending shades. So if you guys want more tutorials on this, let me know. Um, I don't have the Naked 2 palette, so I can't give you guys tutorials on that. Sorry. Um, if anything, I could probably replicate a look that I saw. <laughs> if anything. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I miss you guys. Bye.